is all that is left of me, Tom Blair, and of my dreams of home. You're shocked. You wonder what happened. This is what happened, and it started not long ago, back home. A good word, home. I'll never see it again. But this day I was walking along. Hi, Tom. Hello, Mr. Nibley. Good morning, Miss Nelson. Hello, Tom. I just heard from my Chester. He's at Ottawa now. Ottawa? Yeah, that's an island. You said that there? Yes. I thought censors were tough eggs. They're not tough enough to stop my Chester. Ask Tom about Winifred Allen. You see? You take the first letter of every word in any sentence that you don't understand. A-T-A-W-A. -A, -A. A code. Golly, so Chester's at Ottawa. We worked it out just before he left. It's very comforting to know exactly where your son is. Very comforting. American troops arriving at Ottawa. Surprise, Madge. Oh, darling. You didn't think I'd get another pass, did you? Oh. Brought us a vein of pasta. What did you say? In Polynesian, I said you're beautiful, babe. Oh. Hiya, son. Hiya, Pop. Say it in Poly. Polynesian? Ovato dosa. How's that, son? Where did you get this beautiful babe business? In camp from a bald-headed colonel. What kind of an invasion are we planning? Well, there you have to know the language of the country. Here I can get by with this. Billy, my dad can speak Polynesian. Can he? Gosh. What's that? I don't know. Soldiers learning Polynesian. My answer tells me Tom Blair's learning Polynesian in the army. The next thing you know, they'll be teaching him the hula. Hmm. Blair's one of those amphibious soldiers, isn't he? Those guys you see in the newsreel landing on the beaches? Yeah, the 51st Division over at Camp Canute. 51st Division, amphibious troops. I couldn't sleep that night, that last night back home. I was thinking of tomorrow, the tomorrow when I'd be home for good, and about Madge, and Paul, smartest youngster on the block. He'd go to college. I didn't know, you see, that a few hundred miles away, words were being said that were locking the door to my future. Idle words, fitting in blank spaces in the plan for murder. I hear you had a beef with Mitch. Yeah, I sure wanted to zip his lip. He shoots his big mouth off about switching through 16 cars of landing barges and sea-going tanks to the embarkation port. These birds are brag about what they know make me sick. The guy Mitch knows from nothing, 16 cars. There were 84 and they're all loaded the rods. 84? Hirohita should hear about that, he'd have a hemorrhage. Yeah, I'll settle for Harry Carey. What's the matter with Butch? Boy, I'm tired. He's been highballing empties down at Camp Canoe. Looks like maybe they'll move a lot of them. Landing barges, amphibious tanks, 84 cars, Camp Canute. He said Hirohito ought to hear about that. It was sooner than I thought. A few days after I returned to camp, my outfit was en route to the embarkation port. If you're trying to pick me out down there, look for the fellow who's limping. Madge finished my socks so fast she forgot to take the lumps out of the heels. But I didn't care. I'd have worn those socks if they'd killed me. Company! No kidding? San Francisco, just a couple of hours from home. If I could only get word to her, I got a brainstorm. Hey, mister, do me a favor, would you? Huh? I'd like to speak to Mrs. Thomas Blair at Somerville. Hello, Mrs. Blair? Well, I, I'm calling for your husband. Oh, no, no, you know, he's all right. But he just wanted me to tell you that he was leaving. He says for you to go to San Francisco to a hotel that begins with an A. That's very plain here. Yeah, yeah, that's it, that's right. He says he, he'll get in touch with you. Troop movement. San Francisco. Hello? Oh, darling. Oh, it was worth the trip just to talk to you. 
Paul's fine. Sends a kiss. <laughs> Did you get the socks? How'd I make them so perfect? Silly, I'm a perfect wife. Look, I can't talk much longer. Yeah, this looks like it, baby. They loaded our stuff aboard today. Now, no worrying. Promise? Swell. I'll pick out a spot on this tropical island we're headed for and reserve it for our second honeymoon. That'll be wonderful. Me in a grass skirt. Or, or do they wear sarongs there? Hope their wish comes true. He's leaving today. Says he's going to pick out one of those tropical islands for a second honeymoon. Tropical Isle. 84 cars, 51st divisions, amphibious troops, Attawa. Yes, bits and pieces fitted together from harmless scraps of gossip. The plan for murder is complete. Nothing was wrong with our reconnaissance. A few days before, the Jap garrison had been weak and the beaches poorly defended. Now they were loaded for bear. <laughs> in the Pacific area. Another island has been captured by our forces. Unfortunately, the casualties have been heavy. From all indications, the Japanese were aware of this action in time to anticipate it. And of course, the big question is, how did they know? Embarkation, San Francisco. When? Leaving today. 